Hello dear YouTube family and welcome back to Liftoff. As usual, we keep you updated with the latest news and everything related to the space niche world. In today's episode, we will talk about the SpaceX's attempt to shut down the European launch market, like Vega C and Ariane. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you will never miss out any of the latest space niche videos. Falcon 9 is a partially reusable two-stage to orbit medium lift launch vehicle designed and manufactured by SpaceX in the United States. The latest version of the first stage can return to Earth and be flown again multiple times. The Falcon 9 has influenced all of the competition in the United States by performing orbital flights and almost 1,700 satellites when Project Kaper is still on the ground. The company will soon be a threat to a whole continent instead of just one country. While the competitors like Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic could only reach suborbital, European Union's world renowned rockets such as the Vega C and Ariane, as well as the Galileo navigation system, are soon going to be under siege by SpaceX. This was not possible without the Falcon 9 rocket, and it has made the whole of Europe panic and fear for its future. The Vega C, an upgraded and more powerful version of the current Vega launch vehicle, is a European Space Agency program that will further solidify Ariane Space's market position for small satellite launches to low Earth orbit. Vega is an expendable launch system in use by the Ariane Space jointly developed by the Italian Space Agency and the European Space Agency. Its development began in 1998 and the first launch took place from the Centre Spatial Guyanes on 13 February 2012. On the other hand, Ariane Space SA is a French company founded in 1980 as the world's first commercial launch service provider. It undertakes the operation and marketing of the Ariane program. What factors have made this particular rocket centre of attention in such a small time? How has the European Union decided to counter this grave threat? And why is it highly credible Galileo navigation system threatened to become obsolete by the Starlink constellation? Let's find out. The reusable low-cost Falcon 9 rocket SpaceX has been able to slash prices for large commercial satellites that could be lifted by the Ariane 6, whereas Europe's Ariane vehicles once played a dominant role in launching geostationary satellites, they've lost considerable market share since 2014. Moreover, through its rideshare program for the Falcon 9, SpaceX also threatens to take missions away from Vega C, which has a lift capacity of about 1.5 tons to polar orbit. As the newspaper reports, Europe now lags behind SpaceX in other key ways. Because of its partnership with NASA, SpaceX can now launch astronauts. French astronaut Thomas Pesquois, in fact, is a mission specialist on the Crew 2 mission due to launch next month. He will likely be the first of many European astronauts to reach space on a SpaceX vehicle. Europe also presently has no answer to the Starlink mega constellation that SpaceX is in the midst of launching. Either in the capacity to build hundreds of satellites a year or affordably get them into orbit. All this has led the Italian and French ministers to call on the European Union for a substantial technological and industrial reply to all that SpaceX is doing now. However, the nature of the response is not yet known, nor is the pace of the nations involved. Politics among the European countries will act as a complicating and slowing factor. France has its Ariane program, while Italy has Vega. Germany made no progress in rocket technology in the European Union era, but now has a different, small launch companies that have promising prospects. Because of this, the French and Italian ministers are calling for Europe to offer a significant technological and industrial response to the rise of SpaceX. It is not clear from what form this would take, nor how quickly the European nations could move in response. Rocket Factory Augsburg is among them, but it will compete with private firms instead of being a support to some institutional approach. In the middle of September, the European Space Agency announced that an initiative was being taken for the flourishing of future space transportation solutions. In simple words, funding of 600,000 US dollars each 
was given by the agency to three space exploration companies. These are Avio, Ariane Group and Rocket Factory Augsburg. They will be tasked to research competitive launch systems that can be used in 2030 and onwards. Daniel Neuenschwander, the director of the Space Agency's Space Transportation Division, states that the purpose of this initiative is to enable Europe to prepare efficient launch systems for the future by studying them in the present. As a result of this, strong foundations will be laid for people to go beyond Ariane 6 and Vega C. The systems will consider European space programs as a priority while also being able to cater for what the global market needs. Moreover, any initiative will be complicated by politics. The Ariane program has roots in France, while Vega originated in Italy. Germany, with no history of its own rockets during the European Union era, nonetheless has several promising small launch companies, including Rocket Factory Augsburg, and it may seek to foster private competition, rather than financially supporting an institutional approach of the next generation rockets, which include the small Vega C and large Ariane 6 booster, that will be sufficient enough to fulfill Europe's launch missions for the coming years till 2030. The two mentioned rockets have been given substantial upgrades as compared to the previous generations and will make their appearance in one or one and a half years. Musk stated on Twitter, Raptor manufacturing is reaching one per 48 hours. The interplanetary transport engines unveiled in 2016 and capable of producing 500,000 pounds of thrust are critical to SpaceX's plans to assist NASA in returning to the moon and ultimately to Mars. The crazy power of the Raptor is planned to power SpaceX's Starship, which will be the next lunar lander. NASA selected SpaceX as its lone partner for the Artemis lunar mission in April. However, the contract work was halted in late April, pending a review by the Government Accountability Office in response to a protest from another bidder led by Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos's space exploration business. Now that we have come to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know your opinion about it in the comment section below. If you want to stay updated with upcoming space videos, subscribe to the Liftoff channel and hit the notification button. Thank you so much for your support. Until next time.